Now welcome back to the channel. Today we're back on Norwegian Airlines. Let's uh, check out this uh, landing here. <clears throat> How bad can it be? Very bad actually. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that tire burst. Yeah, today we're gonna talk a little bit about aircraft tires. You know these beautiful little rudder pieces down there? And especially what happens when they break, which you can very easily simulate here in the flight simulator. There we go. Let's go ahead and fail the landing gear tires, which will well, deflate them. There we go. We're kind of a little bit shallower now to the ground. Yes, we have bursted all of our tires. Now this is a scenario that doesn't really happen very often, you know, an actual blowing Higher. There we go. This is a Delta 767 now. And there we go. We can see some smoke here. Yeah. Normally, though, this is not that big of a deal. Yeah, after uh, this 767 had its tire bursted, the plane just took off, as you can clearly tell. I mean, obviously, it even took a while, of course, for the pilots to notice. And then just, you know, came in for a landing. Definitely not a major crash. In fact, I think you could actually use a bursted tire for your advantage. A plane with the tire bursted will obviously stop a lot faster. And we all know what we're gonna do now, right? Now for this video, we're gonna actually use this plane, the 737-800, a plane known for not needing that much of a runway. It has actually quite a decent stopping performance. It, it of course cannot land everywhere, but that is of course only if the tires are, you know, normally inflated. What happens if they're actually broken? <laughs> That's actually an interesting test. All right, so this is the plan. We're gonna now land with the tires normally inflated, first of all. And then I'm gonna try the same landing here with the tires bursted and actually see if that actually makes a difference. And if that project is actually successful, we're gonna actually attempt to land this plane at some very interesting places all around the planet. So let's just go and touch down perfectly on this touchdown zone. Uh, this has been a hard land. And here we go. This is La Mole Airport in the south of France. We pretty much stopped right before this yellow cross. Now, let's attempt this with the tires failed. Let's do this. All right, that's also perfectly touched on the touchdown zone. There we go. Oh, it's been a bit early, honestly, though. Okay, whatever. Time to stop. Oh, the plane actually doesn't control very well. <laughs> yeah, this is the thing. I almost ran off the runways. You really gotta be careful, but what I've noticed now is that we've used pretty much half of our runway now, haven't we? I mean, okay, to be fair, we kind of landed a little bit earlier, but this has actually gone very, very quickly. So, <laughs> maybe in the future for planes, you could, you know, build in a feature for the tires to deflate automatically, and that would allow, like, a plane to land. Actually, this wouldn't make any sense at all, because now taking off is quite a bit of a chat. I mean, we can try that. I don't think this plane will even properly move. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> great. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in real life, the landing gear would now be pretty much sanded down <laughs> perfectly, like straight. Um, and so that doesn't take off anymore, but maybe in the case of an emergency, this could be a useful feature, just popping the tires automatically. We don't know. Probably isn't that much of a good idea. So, let's go ahead and challenge our little newly found principal and land this plane on the shortest runways on this planet. You can land your plane everywhere, I think, now. Actually, you know what? I have a little bit of trust here. Let's go ahead and uh, do a smooth landing. We don't even have to crash this plane into the ground to properly stop. There we go. 30, 20, <clears throat> smooth landing, indeed. There we go. And a nice stop. What? Well, how? How did that work? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's just amazing. Bit of a hard landing, actually, indeed. But look how quickly he stopped. This is ridiculous. This plane will now be able to land everywhere. Thanks to our little modification. Now, I've said this already, uh, taking off will be a bit of an issue, but you can just uh, replace... Yeah, I replaced the whole landing gear, actually. Again, it's going to be completely sanded down clean. But that's another story. All right, so since this plane is seriously unimpressed with whatever we throw at it now, with the, you know, bursted tires, let's just go ahead and challenge a little bit more. <clears throat> yeah. Welcome to uh, the German island of Helgoland. This is actually now a 475 meter long runway, which is, like, way too short for anything that is not, like, a turboprop high-performance ultra-stopper. Which the 737 probably isn't, but... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no, don't stall out. Yeah. <clears throat> Whoops. Oh, now. That's definitely been some bursted tires. Alright, that's been a bit of a hard one, but I mean, Reiner flies this plane. I say this pretty much every video now, but, you know, this thing can actually hold some... thing. I mean, the landing gear is broken anyway, so... Wait. Did we just actually, by the way, stop on the 475 meter long runway and we didn't even use, like... 
most of it. So, what the hell did we just do? What? Could you just see that? Look how this plane casually stopped. I mean, in real life, this plane will be kind of useless now because, again, uh, we broke the landing gear. But after, like, a, a, for $13 million investment into a new landing gear, this is fine. I mean, not, probably not $13 million, but $5 million probably. There we go. That's actually gone quite well. If You, you know, this is, turns a plane into a little bit of a single-use one, but, you know, it works. It actually works super well. It's quite scary. So where do we go next? <laughs> Uh, so many great places around the planet. But I mean, we can also try a little bit of a more exotic, um, destination. What? This is out the Hueys, isn't it? Oh, yes. Wonderful airport on a mountain. Great. Normally impossible in a 737, but we've got superpowers now. Kind of like a, a tuning or something. Great. Let's, uh, <clears throat> come in for a landing here. Okay, that's been a bit hard, actually. <laughs> Slope runway, indeed. All right, let's go ahead and quickly stop, which... Shouldn't be an issue. Oh. oh. Almost. It didn't... Wasn't it? Yeah, great. I mean, in defense of the little 737 here, we kind of touched down mid-runway, so most of the runway actually was not used here with this landing, and we still kind of almost stopped. Some... Yeah, not really. But, you know, this has gone quite well. And there's another 737 here that landed before us here and also is rendered useless now yeah i don't know why i'm doing this so welcome to saba yes <clears throat> the absolute biggest challenge for a pilot yes this is the shortest runway on this planet pretty much or at least the shortest commercial runway on this planet of course not counting all the weird grass runway private airports that you can just easily do in america where you can just turn your backyard into an airport i don't know what i'm saying anyway land now, absolutely otherwise impossible in any jet, by the way. I've actually never been able to land a jet here properly, which you can maybe see. This is not even like 300 meters, ba barely 300 meters long. I think, eh, I think this is going to be quite a bit of a challenge. <laughs> or maybe not, actually, where this plane. We will find out now. Let's do this. Okay, that's been a landing. Quite a bit of a touchdown. I'm sorry. Oh, that mo, my God, that very much of a touchdown. Let's What? What just happened? Look, a proper landing here at Sa- uh, Thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is, um, I just have to work this through right now with my brain. Yeah, thank you. Now, thank you to my members here on YouTube, like Block, Emite, Mubarak, Mike, Ethan, Darren, Stefan, Ian, uh, Oman the Human, Rafael Burkowski, Junk in the Trunk, Moritz, uh, Toby, Great Grandpa John, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, New York, uh, Tyler Park, Cheese Doritos, Shadow, Anime Planes, Razor One, X Men Show, Lair, The Slama, Futuring, Kellen, Me By You, Captain Cameron, Spiro, uh, Gary, Norwegian, Bajel, and Parology.